What's going on, everybody? Good enough motorsports, aka that on the channel's back. Now, my wagon clutch is totally gone. If you bang shift it, it just spins, and I really need my car to be reliable, uh, especially for having a job. I have to have that thing. Good. So, uh, basically, what I'm going to be doing getting that wagon right here. This is a hole getting the freak out of here, and I'm gonna be putting on a clutch. Amazon for uh, what was it, $108.99. Now, usually, you don't buy that cheap of a thing. I mean, I, I've had this before, it's an EFT brand, it's got you know the uh, clutch. Uh, uh, this thing. I don't know what it's called. Here's the bearing plate itself, which is stage two plate. Brand new clutch, or uh, stage two pressure plate, sorry. Brand new stage two uh, clutch plate itself. And then I got a flywheel to go along with it. So all this was uh, 108.99. So that was a pretty good deal. Um, I hope it fits. It's going to be going on my F22 A6 Accord Wagon. But it's an EX, so it's got the F22 A6, which is the EX engine. Um, yes, it's a manual, as you can tell, because, well, why the frick would I be doing this clutch on an automatic? <laughs> so, I need to get this in here and move the Dulce out. And, yeah, I'm probably going to be driving the Dulce until I get this done. Hopefully, I get this done tonight, because I'm going to do it with myself, and I'm already kind of tired, so it's not a great start, but i got to get it done, because I need to be able to do this stuff. So, alright. <laughs> Respect that true house of underground shit, Mr. Bill Collect the bone. Gotta get him with the pop phone. He can take it off, thank you. Please don't make stank you. Time to be the beer, right to chill the bone. Now get your slug. Chill, be better respect. Don't move the selling drugs. There's a Mexican in my car over here, guys. It's a Mexican over here. He's touching my things. Oh, when I was reveling with her. Well, not reveling with uh, her. It's a tuned ECU. So, yeah, guys, we're putting the clutch on. I'm at your party. I'm with the gang. And it's gonna be a robbery. So tuck your chain. I'm a killer, girl. I'm sorry. But I can't. Buddy, I'm on the Accord. The distributor is loose, successfully. Uh, I've taken the battery, it is off, obviously, in the battery. You never want to work on this crap because you can always short stuff out. I used to say that, and then I almost caught on fire once when I said, oh, oh, sorry. I used to say, you don't have to take it off. And obviously, that was stupid. I was being a stupid kid, and I always take it off now because it sparks and stuff. And, you know, that's not fun. I have to this, but whatever. Um, I almost got the starter off. I'm just getting all the loose little wires and crap out of the way. And then I'm going to jack it up, take the axles off, take the uh, lower ball joints off, uh, pull the axles out, and we can train up and uh, almost done. <laughs> just I'm kidding. It don't take that long to do a honk train. I'm probably about like an hour and a half, maybe two hours. I'm by myself and I'm kind of tired. It's already late in the day. So, uh, yeah, I'll hit you guys back up and I make more, some, more, some more progress. Wow, that's boring. Looks like my mechanic is so we got the F22 A6 super fast, 150 horsepower. I'm just kidding. Um, so we got pretty much all these cables and everything off. Uh, last thing I need to do is take the wheels off, take the axles out, and end up trans. So um, this is kind of cool. I did not know for this particular vehicular. I'm just kidding. I saw this before. Uh, I just thought it was kind of a cool thing to point out. So these are actually the shift cables. Now this is not a shift linkage vehicle like a, a Civic where the uh, linkage is actually down here with a little pin and a pull and, thing and turn it, it's different than the Civic um, so these are actually the shifter cables so when this one goes like this the shifter goes left and right like left to right like how you check your neutral this one is forward and back so you hear the trendy going to gear here so that's kind of a cool thing so I guess on the Accord if you ever broke your uh, shift knob or 
It's just you could have somebody in the hood. I'm just saying in a really rural area where you could sit on the hood, like have your buddy sit in the hood and tell you where to steer. So you obviously you probably couldn't see. But technically your buddy, in theory, you could get your buddy to shift for you. You guys could technically get home. Um, just kind of a cool little point out. Um, I'm just taking all the wires off so it's easier to get to the trans. When I take the trans down, I'm thinking I'm going to spray everything in the trans and clean up the clutch area. I'm probably going to spray paint the uh, transmission like silver just to clean it up. And, you know, eventually I'm going to take the whole thing out again, uh, the whole motor swap. And I'm going to paint it. I'm going to, well, yeah, sorry, now I'm the rest of it. Uh, I'm going to take the whole swap down. I'm going to put high compression, pi or uh, sorry, low compression pistons like YCP or Eagle, etc. I'm going to get some rods, some ACL race bearings. Uh, I'm going to make it basically a low compression engine. I'm going to do a port on the head and the intake. I'm going to get an aftermarket intake. They don't really make a whole lot of aftermarket stuff for F-Series, but they make it for H22. I know there's F-Series stuff out there, but it's so expensive because F-Series is kind of rare, hard to find. Um, I'm going to turn the fan a little bit so I get better airflow to my body because I'm freaking hot. Oh, that's better. So I'm going to get an aftermarket intake. Uh, I'm going to get... Well, obviously it's gonna be boosted. That's why I'm going low comp. That's the only reason you go low comp. Otherwise, you're stupid, and I don't want you working on a car. Don't even go near the car, or I'm gonna slap you in the ear hole. Um, so I'm gonna get a aftermarket. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna go with ram horns or something because I want to keep my AC, and that's kind of a tall order. I don't even care if I have to run the turbo all the way to the back bumper. I want to keep my damn AC. Uh, what's more than likely is going to happen is I'm going to get a uh, cop, which is a, a coil unplug um, spinny deal, and it's just going to be a coil packs, not the distributor. I'm upschooling a little bit, uh, and I'm going to wire tuck the whole thing, make it very clean. I want it to be a show car and a race car at the same time, even though it's a wagon and the electric. You know, it's the heavier one, but I don't care, bro. Um, this is just how I want to build my car. You build your car your way and you should be happy with it. That's what it's all about. So I'm going to keep my AC and everything. Um, I'm going to get a, a better uh, AC condenser because I actually want to, and I'm going to get better AC lines. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my own uh, AC, like, basically I'm going to put another AC fan or a, a heater slash a cold air fan in the car, a cabin fan, if you will. Um, for the back because on these wagons they and it, it, AC was just coming out mainstream for these cars so basically like my mom's Yukon over there that thing already had AC in the ceiling like in the roof and then, then it came out the floor this only has it for the front seats um, coupes and sedans you don't really have that issue because it's a small vehicle but not even all my windows are tinted it's just the side ones that are 5% and then if I have the, the top closed basically this is a big uh, sun thing this is sun, that sun, it's Oregon we don't get a whole lot of that here but still, it's nice to have window tint and everything. Um, but for the summers, bro, I love the summer. I drive my Hondas every time in the summer. So I'm going to make somewhat of a crazy powerful AC system for the car so I can stay nice and cool. Especially since I'm a fatter guy, or a bigger guy, if you will, not the rude way. Um, I'm going to need to stay cool. And if I ever want to go cross country in this car, which let's be honest, if I ever have a family, kids, whatever, this is probably going to be the car I take. I'm old school. I like doing it the cool way. Um... <laughs> So, you know, I want to make this a really nice car one day. So, yeah, I'm going to do it my way. But for now, we're just sticking with our, you know, NA F22A6. But I promise we'll, we'll be boosted here and Hatch will be boosted and Del Sol and this and that. I don't know what's going to be NA. I don't know what's going to be Turbo. Just piss off for a little bit and let me work on my, my stupid clutch. <laughs> but, yeah, no, all right, I'll get back to you guys when I get more done. It's actually the next day. Um, It is hotter than it looks, even though it looks pretty hot because I'm fat and sweaty. So... <clears throat> So far, what I've gotten the done is everything is out the transmission. Uh, the you know, I'll just show you. I have literally all the wires and cables off. Um, everything, the shift fork stuff. Um, you know, you've seen that before. And then all I need to do is really the tranny bolts and then the mount. I don't know what how the mount goes back there because I haven't done this particular model. So I'm just gonna you know. It. but no it's easy it's pretty much just like any other honda there's bolts back there um and then here and then the bolts around the tranny which should come off without well i shouldn't say without a lot of issues because i'm gonna jinx myself so i'm not gonna do that jinx myself sorry and then uh i'll pull the tranny down and we'll take the old clutch and flywheel off and put on the new stuff and we'll rip her and get her put back together and hopefully i'm gonna go to my good enough motorsports meet tomorrow uh i haven't shown you guys any of those yet because well let's just be honest 
it didn't start out with a bunch of people, and now a lot of people have been coming. Um, it's actually our Saturday meet, so we just recently started doing Saturday meets instead of Wednesdays only. But yeah, no, it's at uh, Napa in Silverton, Oregon, uh, if anybody wants to swing by and say hi. <laughs> But uh, yeah, everyone's cool. We're not a Honda only club, like I said before. Um, we do any cars, you know. We're open at trucks, whatever you have, you know. We're not, we're not assholes. So yeah, I'm gonna keep working on this thing. Hey buddy, this is actually the next, next, next thing. Um, so the clutch is in. You can see it's kind of chilling in there. Um, the new uh, flywheel is on. If you can see that, and it's brand new. It's like blue and shiny. Like it's a brand new flywheel. And then the pressure plate and then the, the clutch plate. The actual clutch plate itself. <clears throat> <laughs> all the old crap. That clutch was good. Usually that clutch was toast. There's so much clutch dust on it. It's so old. Um, that was the old flywheel, which is extremely peaceful. It's really bad. Um, anyway, I just gotta kind of put everything else back on here. Um, Distributor, some of the wiring crap. I need to boot the clutch. Uh, the clutch shifters, the clutch shift cables are back on. And then I got obviously put the intake. Um, and then the battery. And the battery tray. That's it. Mm, don't you got one over there? Alright, guys, so we're about to be bleeding the clutch. Um, it's in. Uh, we're about to bleed the clutch line because I just popped the clutch line off and whatever. So we gotta bleed the clutch line. Um, yeah, we need to fix that. Yeah, it shouldn't be like that, everybody. Well, do you want me to keep pumping it? Down. 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 Everything's pretty much put back together. Got the battery train and got all this crap. Everything's hooked up. Just put it on your ass a little bit after we start it, no? I gotta put the battery in, and then we gotta start it up. And then we'll the clutch has a lot of nice pressure now. It feels very stage two. Papa, does it not feel stage two? It feels tough, huh? Like, yeah, so. <laughs> anyway, you can see the clutch in there. It's like shiny and new. That's actually the throw bearing. Oh no, that's the flywheel. Then there's the clutch bearing. <clears throat> nice though, because the guy that sold to me had brand new starter put on it and battery too. Um. So I think we're gonna start it up here. New clutch is in, about to start it up. When you're replacing the clutch with your dad on your cord. <laughs> Battery's in, distributor's on. Let's start it up. Make sure it's not in gear. <laughs> That's just from our, our bleeding. I gotta go pressure wash all that crap out. It's the one with the Viper alarm, the, the square. Yeah, that one. Turn the wheel, it's lock. There you go. Mint. That's just the cold start thing when you start it for the first time, they do that. Mint. That's just how it is. Air? A little bit. Stinky. Whew. 
You want to pull it out? Pull it out? What? What? It's hard to put in gear, huh? Remember how we had to burn the other one? Because it's staged. So, like, get it in gear and just kind of let it burn. Let me feel it. Let me feel it. Just called me. Um, yeah, no, it's feeling good. Nice and heavy clutch. Um, it's hard to get in the gear, but that's a normal thing when you first do these things. It is kind of hard to get in the gear. I think that's just the clutch, but maybe we're... Hey, do you think we're out of fluid in the tranny or like it's lower? Or I guess I'll take it up and down the block. I don't know, but my dad said he drained out all the oil in the tranny, so probably have to do something with that. I don't know. Let me figure it out. You're a faggot. I have a really nice clutch. Screw you. So we're adjusting the clutch right now where my dad is. The wagon's kind of a mess. Um, it is running. It's out outside. AC is working. No check engine light. Pliers? Uh, yeah, let me go grab some. When I did too many burnouts in this thing, I think this is part of the issue. <laughs> They're okay still. We'll be all right. Just put a little, uh, yeah. Burnout Mafia. Let me rephrase that. Stock 1991 Honda Accord Burnout Mafia wagon. So that's the Accord clutch. Very easy. Kidding. It's actually a lot of work. Um, still easier than a lot of, you know, replacing a trendy in that or an Escalade across the street, etc., etc. Um, Delsol and Civics are easy just because they're single cams, baby single cams, the smaller motors that, you know, you can get, the Hondas, um, and they're just easier to get to in general, there's just more, I guess they're smaller in size than around in the way they're made, they're very easy to take apart very quickly. Um, the Accord is a little more difficult, I'd say like, this is a number one, like, on a scale of one to three, this is the easier, that's probably two or three, depending on how idiotic you are. Um, and then like, what would be a three? I guess a three would be like that or a, or that's not even that hard. Four wheel drive makes it harder. Two wheel drive would be like a two. Um, let's put it this way. If it was like a Acura RL or TL or Acura Legend, which I'm looking for an Acura Legend. If you know anyone that's selling any, any, any that hit, hit me up because I'm looking for one. Um, trying to get a hold of one. So. Um, if you know anybody that has one, hit me up because I really want one. Anyway, uh, it is feeling good. My dad's just adjusting the clutch a little bit. Uh, I don't like the way it felt. The clutch was like grabbing way at the bottom, and he adjusted it at the top. Now he's just tightening it. So I'm going to go take it for a spin here in a minute. She's running mint. The clutch feels so nice. Oh, yeah, that's a nice clutch. So, brand new clutch. Right. On a test drive, it rides awesome. The clutch grabs really good, like a new clutch. Um, we had to adjust it at first because the uh, clutch itself was a little fatter. Well, of course it's going to be because the other one was really burnt. Um, it's got a new flywheel, new pressure plate, clutch, plate itself, um, and then the uh, bearing, and then the alignment tool came in the kit. It was a pretty good kit, actually. Um, I do recommend it. It's more for if you want... Not It's not... If you're not a little girl, it's a good daily driver clutch. Still, it's it's heavier. It's like a two two and a half stage clutch, like two to two and a half, like maybe three if you're if you're very like weak. Um, I can push it. It feels like the one that was on here, but it feels new, so it's a little stiffer. Um, and it engages like a OEM clutch, sorta. The, the clutch itself is a stage two pressure plate, and then the. Uh, the uh, clutch itself is stage two. It's got a little bit heavy duty spring, so you know it engages harder. Um, it is kind of nice. I just pushed it a little bit, and you could throw like maybe 300 to it. It'll hold for a little while. Um, it's not not super strong, but it's it's, it's just a decent clutch. Um, it feels like a Subaru clutch, you know. And those hold like what 350, 400 all day. So you know, for my 140 to the wheel or to the crank sorry it'll handle that without an issue and then i can boost it still i know these clutches last a long time on stock motors so i give it a 10 thumbs up so yeah thanks for watching guys subscribe like and um, uh, let me know what you guys want for more content or i guess i'll just make content so screw you bye